Hi, everybody. This is Mike Gertis with the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living with a Love Note. And what I wanted to talk to you today about is, do you have somebody in your corner? You know what I mean? Do you have somebody there to support you, really care for you, guide you, direct you, give you a nudge when you're getting in the wrong way, going the wrong way? May have one. That's great. Fact is, we all have one, but we just don't recognize it. That one is spirit. That God's self that guides us and directs us. But we, the, the, here's the rub. We have to be open for it. We have to acknowledge it for it to work in our lives, consciously work in our lives, for us to be aware of it. We have to consciously declare it and it'll be aware of it. Let's open up to the receptivity that there is a power for good in the universe that loves us, care for us, as it loves itself, because we are it in expression by means of us. Yes, it's got our back. It's in our corner. It loves and supports us. So there's your loving care and support right there. Anything you're faced with, anything you're doing, there's that that goes with you, loving you, supporting you, guiding you, directing you. And all we need to do is be open, be willing to listen, be willing to be guided, and then be willing to do what is ours to do and do it right. People say, well, what do we do? I, people say, just do the right thing. Well, let me tell you, it's doing the right thing. It's doing the next thing right. If you're guided along a certain direction, do it right. Spirit knows Allow spirit to guide you and direct you along that line. Now, one thing you may be aware of is that you have regrets for not doing things that you could have, should have done in the past. Because maybe you didn't see that that loving support was there for you then. Well, let's not use that as an excuse for not seizing the opportunity to do what is ours to do today. What is it if you could not fail, that you'd want to embody, that you'd want to do, that you would like to go for, that you'd like to, that you would really like to express, be, do, know, how, have. I mean, is there some career path that you're ready to start out at? Is there some loving relationships you want to do? You want to go into art? You want to go into music? You want to start running? You want What is it you want to do? If you don't know what it is that you want to do, open and listen and allow spirit to tell you what it wants to do through you. Now you may say, I'm too old, I can't do anything. Well, name it and claim it. But you may find that even if you're not in the greatest of shape, there's wonderful things that you can do. Maybe not even physically, but you can do some things. And what I'm urging you to do is Take the challenge to be a little creative. Take the challenge to do a little more today and tomorrow than what you did yesterday. Take the challenge to allow yourself to be fully guided and directed by spirit and accept a greater idea for you today, tomorrow, and the next day. Because it's by means of you that we all have a better time. And so life loves you. Know that we love you. And I look forward to talking with you again soon. Remember that guy, that girl, that person, that entity that's in your side, in your corner. That's God. Love you.